Hi everyone, this is Ashley Mitchell with The Courage Campaign, and I'm here at the Southboro Library, thank you library friends for the space, giving you some wellness content. We started with a meditation, and this is your part two video. We're gonna do a little bit of vinyasa flow. Now, the same with yoga, when we sort of dive into these wellness practices, like yoga, like meditation, like moving our bodies, it really helps us to reduce stress, to improve our mood. So if you're feeling any sort of overwhelmed or overstimulated, you wanna to come to these videos. They're short enough that they're not gonna to take too much of your time, but it gives you just enough of a boost so that you're really taking care of your well-being. Okay, so let's set this up. You can have a yoga mat if you'd like. You can also do this on the floor, on the carpet, in the grass. Just make sure, depending on the surface, you might need to be barefoot, you might need to have sneakers on. Make sure you're not gonna slip around. Safety is always number one. Um, and number two, we're gonna do this mostly standing. So if you're used to a very traditional uh, vinyasa yoga flow, you're gonna see some elements that feel familiar and then some that feel a little bit different. So I invite you to keep an open mind and go with the flow. I had to, it was, <laughs> I had to, okay. So we're gonna start in mountain pose. So you wanna have your feet about hips width apart. Shoulders up, back and down so you have a nice open heart and palms facing out away from you. The spine is tall, the chin is parallel to the ground and this is sort of your readiness state, your great posture so that you can breathe and that you can feel your feet on the ground. This is where we begin. When you're ready, inhale, lift both arms up overhead. On the exhale, take your left hand, grab onto your right wrist, and gently pull yourself over to the left. Big side body stretch. I'm going to be opposite of you, but if you go the same way I do, it's no big deal. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, you're going to release and switch to the other side. Make sure you can really feel your feet pressing into the ground here. Bring it back up to center. New breath in for length. And on the exhale, you're going to bend your elbows open and you're going to take a back bend. So you're going to make sure you keep your abs nice and tight here so you don't start to hurt your lower back, but you're going to reach back, open your heart through the ceiling. Lift back up, inhale. Exhale, fold down, touch your toes. So this is a really great place to let your shoulders go, let your head and neck go. Lots of release here. You can sway side to side, bend into one knee and then the other. And then start to roll it back up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. To get back to the top and you find your mountain pose again. So now we're going to take that and add some flow to it. We're going to do three sun salutation A's. So just follow my voice. I'll let you know when to breathe, when to inhale, when to exhale. And we'll just move together. That's all. All right, here we go. So from your mountain pose, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open the arms nice and wide, swan dive, touch your toes. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back into a high plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press up and back. You might want to pedal your feet here and stretch your calves. Whatever feels nice and good for two more breaths. So a breath count is one full inhale and one full exhale. One more, breathe in. And breathe out, start to tiptoe your feet toward your hands. You're gonna roll it back up. And then you find yourself back at the top. We do it again. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, open swan dive, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back, find the high plank. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. It's three breaths once you get here. 
staying still or finding a little movement, whatever feels better in your body. One more breath in. Breath out, start to walk your hands toward your feet, coming into the last one. Roll it up nice and slow. Head is the left, sit the hip the top. And right into the third one, inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, find your plank, hold it for one breath in. On the breath out, downward facing dog, you take three breaths. We're going to be moving into Sun Salutation B. So it's a little more rigorous, but we'll do it together. But now that our bodies are getting warmed up, we're primed to go into maybe something that feels a little more challenging. So bend your knees, walk your feet forward again. And this time, once they get forward, you're going to sit down like you're sitting in an imaginary chair and lift the arms up overhead of you. So you're kind of in a lightning bolt shape. This is chair pose. Make sure your feet are nice and flat. So your big toes are down, your heels are down. You're really feeling steady and connected to the ground, to the earth. That's what it means to feel grounded, right? Take another breath in. And on your exhale, you're going to fold down, touch your toes. This part you know. Bring your hands to shins, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into your plank. Take a breath in your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Instead of three breaths, we're going to take one. So inhale, exhale, and then you're going to step your right foot up to your right hand. So take a big step forward. And you can move your foot with your hand if you need to. Keep the other leg exactly how it is and lift both arms up. Press and lunge. Now try to hold here for a second. Try to take your three breaths in your crescent lunge. It might feel challenging. You might feel like your leg muscles are really firing. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. This is where your power comes from. Take one more breath in. Hands come back down. Foot goes back. There's your high plank. Take a breath in. And breath out, downward facing dog. One breath in while you're there. Breath out, the left foot's going to come forward this time. Big step forward, left foot. Keep the right leg exactly how it is. Breathe in and lift both arms up overhead. Now we pause here for three breaths. We notice how it feels because both sides are totally different. And we just acknowledge that the body is where it is right now. It's neither bad nor good. We just notice. Take one more breath in. And plant both hands down. Find your high plank. Take a breath in. And downward facing dog. That was the entire sun B. So we're going to do that two more times. We're going to pick it up just a tiny bit. So you bend your knees, you walk to the top of your mat, find your chair pose, breathe in. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. There's your plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. New breath in to settle. Exhale to step the right foot full. Inhale to bring both arms up. Exhale, you bring both arms back down. High plank, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Other side, step the left foot full. Breathe in, lift the arms. Breathe out, lower the arms. Find the plank, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. That was two times, you have one more. I hope it's feeling good. Walk your hands to the, just kidding, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Find your chair pose. Take one breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, find the plank. Inhale to hold. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, right foot. Let that exhale go. New breath in, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, left foot. Step forward, let it go. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. Find the plank. Breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. 
This is a good time for those who need a rest to drop your knees gently to the mat, to maybe shake out the hands or to roll the neck around. Maybe you like to grab a sip of water or to do a child's pose and just take a few breaths to reset and come deeper into this practice. We're gonna do a little bit more, just a tiny bit, because we're always sort of pushing towards our edge because it only builds more resilience and more strength, right? So if you're ready to continue with me, you're gonna come back to your downward facing dog. You were here before, you step your right foot forward, lift both of your arms up, there is your crescent lunge. So from this moment, your back heel, your left heel, is going to spin down to the mat. Keep your right foot exactly where it is, your right toes are pointing forward, and you're going to open the arms up into a warrior two. So it's like this big T-shape with the arms, and you're pressing your legs into the floor, but like tractioning them apart so you can feel your leg muscles really tighten up. Like you feel like you're supported and strong. Flip your front palm over, and then you're going to tip up and back, big back bend, reach back, peaceful warrior. And then as you come back down, bring your right forearm to your right quad, and take your left arm up overhead, extended side angle, big reach, big stretch up the left side. And then all you do is pivot down, look at the floor, plant your left hand, plant your right hand, lift your back heel, find your high plank. Take a breath in, you know this part. Downward facing dog. Same thing, other side. Big step forward, left foot. Lift both arms up, crescent lunge. Spin your right heel down. Open up, warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, tip up and back. Bring the left forearm to the left quad, the right arm up overhead, extended side angle. Rotate the chest down toward the mat. Right hand plants, left hand plants, left foot back. Take a breath in in your plank. Downward facing dog. Now because you know it, just for good measure, let's do one more on each side, and that will bring us to the end of our practice today. All right, step your right foot forward. Lift both arms up, press and lunge. Exhale into your warrior two, back heel seals down, arms extend out long. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, right forearm to right quad, left arm reaches up overhead, extended side angle. Rotate the chest, left hand plants, right hand plants, back heel comes up, high plank. Breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one. Step your left foot forward. Reach both arms up overhead. Exhale into your warrior two. Flip your front palm in reverse. Take it up and back. Left forearm comes to left quad. Right arm reaches up and over. Right hand down. Left hand down. Back heel up. High plank. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Walk your feet to your hands. Start to roll it up. Find your mountain pose, your back to where you started. Maybe take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Close the eyes or look down in front of you, soft gaze. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in, and breathe out. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining. I feel good, but I hope you feel good. That certainly felt really nice and peaceful in my body, but also really strong and purposeful. Have an awesome rest of your day, and return to these videos as needed. Thank you.